Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza, and joining me today is George Runner with the Board of Equalization. Nice I'm, to have you as always, George. Good to be back. Ben, there's been a lot of uh, activity at the state capitol the last few months trying to get us a, a state budget here, and it just doesn't seem like anything that's been put on the table is, is really popular with anybody. Where are we at this point in terms of, of trying to generate cash for the state, if at all? Well, I think the, the budget that's, that'll end up happening, um, clearly that, that I think uh, will be a simple majority vote budget. Um, and in order to do that, you have to balance it. We saw what happened when it is that they tried to pass a budget that wasn't balanced uh, in terms of missing revenues. Uh, and so what what it'll do is that it'll do what's called a I think a force balance. What you'll do is you'll just say, well, you know, I think we're going to get about four billion dollars more next year, and then that'll in essence theoretically balance your budget. So I anticipate what you're going to see and what the budget will be will be a balanced budget based upon new revenues. Don't know where they're really going to come from, and then a series of cuts that'll take place if those revenues don't come in, and then ultimately what'll happen is the desire to go back to the voters then for tax increase. Uh, in order to take care of the long term, because even anticipating those monies coming in and they and they don't doesn't take care of your long term deficit, which California suffers from. From what I'm hearing from you is basically we're prolonging major oh. cuts down the road, possibly. Absolutely, it's you know it's it's basically just wishful thinking. We think we're going to get these dollars in. Now we've had a few good months coming up, and but but to anticipate that into the future, I think is is uh, very naive. Our big problem is the fact that we have one of the highest unemployment rates and could very well be the highest unemployment right here in a couple of months of all the states. We need to get people back to work. That's how we're going to solve our budget problem. Everybody's pinching pennies. Yeah. Everybody's pinching pennies. Let's talk about a use tax, for example. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is one way to generate money for the state. And in the news lately, Amazon.com has been in there in terms of not participating and, and not putting in its fair share. Explain to the folks at home what is a use tax and how does this relate to Amazon.com since it's sure, been in the news? Sure. Well, the idea of a use tax is basically a sales tax when it is that the consumer has to pay it as opposed to the retailer where you pay it to the retailer and then the retailer remits it. A use tax is when the retailer didn't collect it and now you have to pay it directly. So when you do internet purchases, those kind of issues, buy something out of state where you don't have a sales tax, then the law requires you to remit a use tax. Well, that people happen. don't do that. Yeah, yeah, people just don't do that. So the idea is how can we get that money in? So the idea is, well, let's make these out of state retailers, Amazon, Overstock.com, LL Bean, collect the money as a retailer, even though they don't have what's called brick and mortar presence. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it unfortunately, You've heard, I've heard directly, in fact, I was in Seattle a couple of weeks ago with Amazon talking with them about other tax issues, mm -hmm. and they said, hey, we're, we're just not going to collect the tax. We're going to go ahead and uh, not, cre we're going to go ahead and break our, our relationship with what you, what the state says is our, is our nexus, and then we're not going to collect the tax, so you're not going to see any of that money anyhow. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I th it's about $200 million that's in this budget uh, for that, and I just, I think it's just make-believe money that you're just not going to see it. So you've got Amazon resisting, saying, you know, we don't want to do business well, with not California. Not just Amazon, eBay. eBay as well. Yeah. Saying, we don't want to do business with California if we have to implement this use tax. But what about the consumer? I don't want to pay extra, and, and this seems to be a perk. So how do you convince Californians to get on board as well? Well, I, you know, it's just a hard tax to collect. Yeah. And I don't know if you ever will successfully collect it. The fact is, we collect about uh, $60 billion uh, a year in use tax, or in taxes, sales tax and use tax. The missing use tax portion is about a billion. I just don't know how much effort we need to go chasing after that when we want, you know, trying to find Aunt Susie who bought a book on eBay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just a different kind of way to do market. And there's better ways for us to find money in underground economy, I think, that better than that. George Runner, we're going to be watching closely. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you, Abby. And thank you for watching at home. Time Warner Cable's local edition, The Sacramento Report. Always remember, you can watch this interview as well as others simply by going to My Government On Demand. You'll find it on Channel One. And now you can also find these interviews on YouTube.